I tell you the physical world is the greatest practical joke that's ever been played. Are you happy now? Can we stop? And this spell is for Aaron Seath, someone who I can imagine is hiding his front side behind his back, so that no matter how many times you turn him around, you'll never get both sides cooked. The word is... Gnostic. Seek the knowledge break. Remember now, just like all good children and God above, the G is silent. It is spelled G-N-O-S-T-I-C. Back when years only had three numbers and Christianity was still a sapling, some of those early offshoots came to be known as the Gnostics. They didn't have their own churches or congregations. Instead, they were a secret subset, a supergroup, an all-star team nestled away inside of other churches, congregations, an elite club whose members knew the gnosis, the knowledge, the secret truth. It's kind of like if there were a clandestine order of dentists who met in secret bi-monthly to share the truth that all cavities are caused by woodpeckers who visit in the night while we sleep. Now, what Gnostic Christians knew was this, that vengeful Old Testament God, twist, he was the bad guy all along. And when Jesus saves, he saves souls from the Demiurge who created the sun and the earth. That's right. This world of space and time that you all hold so dear is but an illusion, veiling our true nature as spiritual beings. And that's just science. The feeling, the gnosis, it seems inborn to me. Not so much a secret shared by the few as an intuition known by all. The feeling that one day we'll wake up into the real world and the blurry dark around the edges of everything will lift. Our heartbreaks will mend. Our isolation will end and we'll escape all limitation. All of us infinite and one. And at night we'll dream with minds open and mouths closed to keep away the woodpeckers. Give me your words. I will spell them.